Gigi, say hi to the camera. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I thought I would pick up the camera again this week because I have not done so in a long time. And, and the whole purpose of reviving my YouTube was to bring you guys on the journey. So I'm going to really try hard to make sure this becomes much more consistent than it has been. I would just bring you on a realistic week in my life. And this week I'm working four days because I'm filling in for someone on the Friday. And I know what this week's going to be held. Could be crazy, could be quiet, who knows. But come along for the journey. Today's agenda is brunch with a friend and then I have a self-care afternoon. You guys know I love my self-care days, my spa days, getting massages, so I'm getting a two-hour relaxation afternoon. I'm so excited. Yeah, let's get on with the day. You're my favorite. Hey. morning happy tuesday my lips are grimy as my first day of clinical back this week i have one two three four patients in the morning cancellation at nine so i've got an hour free there lunch at one patients two three and four and two back-to-back -back new patients at the end of the day who booked those also exciting news i'm no longer sharing a saddle chair this one's mine you can see my name on it because i really don't like working on the flat chairs so excited for this i've got a gap now so i'm going on the milk run the team have asked for snacks however we've just gotten an air fryer and we've been using it every day and eating naughty food. So I'm probably not going to get any baddies today. I'm going to pick some good foods. So let's see what we can find. On the way home, finished early, very lucky at my clinic, or both the clinics are pretty relaxed, but if I finish early, I can just go home. And it is currently half past four, I usually finish about quarter past five on a Tuesday. So I'm headed home. Hot tip, find yourself a clinic that lets you finish early. Just the joy that it brings, being able to finish early and go home early, you don't have to wait around for another hour. And to be honest, what's one hour of work? Probably goes to the tax man anyway. Happy days! Good morning, happy Thursday from me and Shai. It was so busy yesterday, I wasn't able to vlog at all. Today is a little bit more calm, but we've actually got one of our lovely colleagues coming in for a clean now. And then we have a new patient who hasn't confirmed, so fingers crossed. Scale and clean, lunch, and then three patients in the afternoon. So is this your last day for the week, Shai? No, it's no. mine. Oh. last. Okay. Third? Third? Oh, girl. Six days. Woo. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, we'll try to pick this vlog up a little bit later on in the day. Do have some D-Smile content to film with the team upstairs. So I might take you guys on that.
we are ready for our afternoon and I remember I have to tell you guys a story about a patient that I saw the other week who stormed out on me. Let's circle back to that. We've got to see our afternoon of patients first. Does anyone else do this? I am dreadful with forgetting dinner. So I leave something that I cannot walk out with. So I've left my glasses on top of the meat that I bought. So I don't forget it. And it works every single time. Please tell me I'm not the only one. I also got an exciting delivery from one brand that I have been using for years, L'Occitane. I'm so excited to show finished recording my podcast with Dr. Amanda Foon Nguyen and she is an incredible oral medicine and oral path specialist in Australia. She's incredible. I cannot wait to share this episode with you guys. And I also had a little chat to her about something exciting that I've been thinking about, not quite ready to share yet with you all. Something that I've been thinking about for a long, long time and I just wanna continue giving back to the dental community. Keep an eye out for this space. So if you watch my YouTube videos, you guys are the only ones that know about this I will not be posting about it on Instagram or TikTok um, but received this package here I thought I would unbox it and just tell you about that patient that stormed out on me the other week now has this happened to me like I can't even remember the last time it has happened in my career but this is the first time it's happened in a long time and you know, I just, I don't take things personally anymore. It's just like, it's whatever, it's, it is what it is. Like, I don't want to see me. They don't want to see me. If, I, if I've upset them, I'm really genuinely sorry about it, but I'm just not going to win everyone over and just order off a duck's back. Anyway, so this patient came in and I'm not their usual OHT hygienist and they were told at reception that their hygienist was sick. And when I brought the patient through, I told them that I swapped days with this hygienist. And I mean, I didn't think to disclose why people are away. I just tell them, look, we swapped days, which is true. We swapped days because of sickness. Um, but I didn't think to tell the patient that. And the patient turns around, pops her things down, whips her head, whips her hair back and forth and tells me that was really cheeky. They told me at reception that he was sick. So this is already probably strike two because strike one was me not being there usually hygienist. So I sat them down in the chair, let her know that her dentist has moved overseas and she was already aware of it, told her that another dentist was going to come through. Now I already looked through their notes and knew that they were a quickly patient. Um, I had no idea what was in store for me that morning. Um, their last bite wings were taken in 2021. It's 2024. And so I said, look, it's been about three years since your routine bite wings, which is what I usually open up with. And then I'll tell them, this is why we take them. She just cuts me off and says, I don't want your upsell. I don't want your upsell. I don't want your x-rays. And then I proceeded to explain why we take them because it's obviously part of the consent process. And then she turns around, gets up out of the chair and says, look, my husband has been saying that we need to go to another dentist. I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to leave today. And she picks up her bag and storms out down the hallway, out of the clinic. Both the receptionists were sitting at their um, computers at the front, didn't say a word to them and just stormed out. Now, this is what... I have a box today, some shower oil from L'Occitane. And it feels so crazy to say this, but I'm actually working with L'Occitane, which is amazing. But that's not the point of this video or my story. Um, so she just walked out. And at first I was like, okay, like someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. But as soon as she walked out, I was almost like, I could see this coming. She was really disgruntled from the beginning. And so, just a message to everyone, sometimes you're going to see those patients that are going to storm out, that are going to give you shit, that are going to not treat you very nicely, be condescending. 
And so if this has happened to you recently, just know that I feel you. <laughs> to any new grads or students listening to this, just hold your head up high. Sometimes we're just not gonna win them all and don't take that home and mull over it. Um, I'm sure that if anything happens like this to you, you're gonna handle it exactly the way that you need to. Just remember to stay respectful. Don't lose your cool, keep it professional and you'll be fine. So yeah, that's my story time. Good morning and a happy Friday. I'm fully booked. I'm back to back eight to five, but it's been a quick morning. I'm just waiting to see my 11 a.m. patient who's filling out a medical history form because she's new. Then I have one patient before my hour lunch and then three patients in the afternoon and then the weekend. I'm so excited. I'm reminded today why I do not work Fridays because Fridays is always such a struggle. So if anyone has an RDO, Fridays are a good day to take off because it's struggle town on a Friday. It's Friday.